My name is Matthias Steiner. I am a researcher and manager of the Industrial Technology and Science area at IBM Research in Brazil. Also, I'm co-leading a global initiative in materials discovery for the future of climate. And I would like to talk to you a bit about the research that we are going to present at this year's March meeting of the American Physical Society, in which we are analyzing CO2 in its relation to climate change. More specifically, we are focusing on discovering new materials to better separate carbon dioxide and to store it for the longer term. So uh, one of the biggest questions is actually after we, we capture the carbon dioxide, which is uh, generated today in, in many industrial processes, in energy production, in uh, industrial manufacturing, in transportation, how we are actually storing uh, for the longer term. So uh, one huge potential that we are seeing uh, is the storage at, at pore scale in, in rock formations. So at IBM Research, we are currently having a research project that is focusing on, on understanding uh, scientifically at the chemical and physical level, the storage processes that take place at the rock's pore scale. And the potential here is great. So there's a lot of uh, storage capacity for, for carbon dioxide in geological formations. Uh, for example, we uh, could use depleted oil and gas reservoirs, but also deep saline aquifers. So it's uh, a huge global capacity for storage. And if we are successful in finding good methods to store with high efficiency, uh, that will help us to achieve our longer term objective, which is actually to store the CO2 uh, in the long term as safely and as efficient as possible. So from a technology perspective, uh, we are using artificial intelligence and cloud technologies in, in, in order for us to get faster in the scientific discovery. So it's very important for the simulations that we do and for the way that we uh, do the scientific work to use these uh, platform technologies uh, in, in order to, to move as quickly as possible, make the progress. And very specifically in the, in the project that we are going to present, uh, we are talking about a simulation environment that we have created in which we have physical simulations of the chemical and physical processes at this time, chemical processes in the future, that are concerned with how the carbon dioxide interacts with the rock. So at a very small scale, at the microscopic scale, at the nanoscopic scale, rock has uh, cavities, has, has uh, capillaries that are connected in a, in a capillary network and uh, what we are simulating, what we are trying to understand better scientifically is how the carbon dioxide, once it's injected, interacts with the other constituents. So it's not only the carbon dioxide, there's also other fluids, for example, water, brine, and we need to understand the interaction between the carbon dioxide and the brine, but also between the fluids and the solid surface, the environment, the rock surface, which is uh, important for promoting the the separation, the, the storage and, and mineralization processes. So this is very complex. It's uh, very hard to investigate and understand. So right now uh, we are doing uh, many simulations, simulating scenarios, injection scenarios that take into consideration the specifics of the particular geological formation. So not every rock is the same. So we need to take that into consideration in our simulation scenarios. And the next step is to create more data and then also to share the simulation results, the technology and the data, making it available to the community. Because we, we need that collaboration with our colleagues in the industry, in academia, because we can only be successful if we work together. So it's a community effort. And uh, the more participants, the more researchers, material scientists, chemists, engineers we have to use and, and leverage the data and the technology, the better our chances to actually be successful in our fight against climate change. And the end goal uh, for us, uh, and that's kind of the holy grail of the, um, of the geological storage, is to understand better the mineralization uh, at the pore scale. So that's something that we are working towards to understand really the chemistry that is happening in uh, transforming and converting carbon dioxide uh, into solid phase into the mineral in the pore scale. And that's something more further out, but we hope like making progress 
that uh, allows us to expose and collaborate on all levels uh, of that project as we go forward. I would like to thank you very much for your time and your attention to this important matter. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.